All right, when it comes to thermal insulation performance, you are only as good as your weakest link. And in your average residential home, that link is actually your eave to wall junction. Let's have a look at it. So Joseph, the junction that we're gonna be talking about here is the eave and how the, the, the roof trusses go through over the top plate and hang down, the eave ultimately hangs down lower than the ceiling inside the house. Now th this creates some accessibility issues around the whole perimeter of a home, right? Yeah, that is very correct. And before we talk about this particular junction, I want to get some introduction on why we have this type of issue is yeah. because the energy efficiency um, provision in Australia is based on an average insulation performance approach. So as what that means is as long as you get an average wall insulation and ceiling insulation to a certain number, you are good for to go to get the building permit. But it leads to this type of weakest link here, there, where you got substantially less insulation in one particular area. That can lead to a lot of problems, not only increasing your heating bill, but also can potentially have condensation, mold, and even water damage in those areas. So we had this issue in this house. Uh, basically, when you open up the perimeter of the building, when you open up the tiles, you could clearly see the, the two pieces of plaster coming and meeting from the wall to the ceiling. And then you could see that gap in the cornice that had been installed there. So that whole area, including the cornice, is completely uninsulated around the whole perimeter, which is absolutely amazing, isn't it? And it, and it adds considerable value from, the, from a performance perspective if that didn't exist. Yes, for sure. And that's why we need to figure out a method yep. to effectively insulate and seal those area yeah. and also when you consider um, how a lot of the time rodents and possums may come into your roof space those gaps in the cornex area may sometimes give you some nice surprise so what we ended up doing on this home was spray foam the whole perimeter and fill in that gap behind the cornice and then we carefully cut bats and made them absolutely roll straight over the top of the cornice and meet the top of the brickwork with insulation around the whole perimeter. There were some areas that were quite difficult to get access to because of the ridges. So before we actually did this work, we actually checked to see the performance of the insulation around the perimeter. And it was pretty obvious that there were some major flaws and inconsistencies of this insulation, especially around the corners. The follow-up thermal insulation check that we did after doing the work that we did clearly showed a significant improvement of the consistency of the insulation around the whole perimeter of the home. And for any of you intended to carry out this work, make sure the insulation that you put in the corner doesn't touch the roof tile, or otherwise you're running risk of um, rainwater being permeated through into your insulation which can cause a lot of trouble. We strongly recommend you get a trade professional to undertake these works.